I've always had a strong connection to music for as long as I can remember. When I was in fourth grade, I auditioned for my first musical and was cast. And from there, I fell in love with musicals and I love storytelling. And so I kept doing that. But then as I got into high school, it became more difficult with running because that got more competitive. And so I turned to songwriting. During high school, it was really nice to have songwriting because it became my outlet when running got hard, when school got hard, when anything with friends was difficult. And so despite all the ups and downs and all the changes, it was always something that I could turn to. When I was a junior in high school, I decided to create an Instagram account where I would post like covers and some original songs. And that's what connected me to um, some people that really propelled the start of my music career and they taught me so much and so I'll forever be grateful for how that began. I had been recording kind of in secret. I didn't tell any of my friends about it because I wanted to prove to myself that I could like balance all these different things, running, school, hanging out with friends, doing stuff with family, but then also music. And so I finished recording like a couple of songs and then went forward with the release of one of the songs my senior year. But we had planned to do a lot of different things around that release and then COVID happened. So it made it a little bit difficult, um, but we ended up going forward with the release and it was really cool because it had a really positive, um, there's a lot of positive feedback. I, my goal was to keep doing that when I got to college. I came here with goals to release songs, be a good student athlete, um, make new friends and just have this really awesome community at UVA. But obviously if you were first year or any grade when you got to UVA during COVID, it was a lot different than expected. And so there was a lot of isolation and a lot of difficult times and that was just so unexpected. So um, that kind of changed things a little bit and changed the momentum which was fine because I think I kind of needed to slow down. During my first year, I ended up taking my spring season off of track to focus on my mental health. And um, that whole summer between first year and second year, I was just like trying to find inspiration in my running, in my music. Um, and it took the whole summer, but I finally got back to a good spot with both running and music. And then second year, I just had a whole nother list of goals that I wanted to reach. My high school track coach, Coach Bentley, once told me that to be inspiring, you had to stay inspired. So that's what I'm trying to do. I look for inspiration in my day to day, whether that be at practice, when I'm writing music, or when I'm hanging out with my friends at dinner or something, I'm constantly trying to stay inspired because if I'm not inspired, then there's really no reason for me to be doing what I'm doing. So going into my second year, I just wanted to be inspired and fall back in love with running and music. And so my whole second year I spent writing. I took a songwriting class and I learned so many new things about um, how to uh, learn about like the experiences that I've been through and get the most out of them, even if they were bad. So I was writing all the time and then that gave me the ability to like really do well in running because I wasn't stressed about like releasing a song or sticking on a specific timeline. I was just able to write when I wanted and when I needed to and compete and my headspace was so good second year and I felt like I was really finding a better balance with school, athletics and music. So my goals for third year were to keep writing and keep using music as an outlet, but to also start to release the songs that I had been writing all last year. And so I um, came into this year and I started doing an independent study with Dr. Carson, who kind of like controls the rap lab and he's awesome. And I'm able to have really good conversations with him and all the other people that I get to talk to in the class, I kind of have been able to start releasing music again. And so I released my first single um, as a completely independent artist this January um, in 2023. And so it took all first semester to kind of like get back to the point of releasing music. But like if I've learned anything, it's that I have to be able to pivot and to be patient. 
in my work. And so that's kind of what I did first semester. I tried to just go with it. And um, now with that first release, I'm just hoping to kind of build momentum from there. Like I tried to do a few years ago and it didn't work, but that's okay because I'm back here now. And I feel like I have a better balance with everything at UVA now, so it's healthier and it's exciting. Right now I'm writing, recording, running, studying, hanging out with friends, and it feels like I've found such a better balance than I had when I was a first year. It's still not perfect, but it's better, and I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud to be a Who, and I'm so excited to be a Who for the rest of my life. Cheers to having fun while staying focused.